Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be taking a look at some really cool sky texture packs for Minecraft 1.16.5. That's right, in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at those packs that actually do not get a lot of attention because first of all, they're scarce. There's not a lot of these packs around for a good reason, because most people just want the full package. They want a shader pack, but there's some people that really cannot run shader packs on their computers, which is understandable because there's some computers out there that are just old or not capable of running shaders. And it just happens. But if you do want some of those features that you get with shaders, such as clouds, a really cool looking sky, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm actually gonna show you five packs that will change the sky in Minecraft. Before we get into it though, of course, I need to tell you that you can subscribe to the channel if you're interested in videos like this one. If you actually like this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And last but not least, if you're looking for a good and reliable Minecraft server host, use the link down below in the description to Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you do get a server with them, you'll actually support my channel as well. Before we can take a look at these sky texture packs, I need to tell you that you will actually need Optifine for most of these packs to work. Without Optifine, they probably will not work. So if you don't know how to install Optifine, then be sure to check out the video in the top right corner right now, which is my own tutorial on how to install Optifine quick and easy. One last thing, you don't want to actually run a shader pack with one of these sky texture packs because they usually don't go together very well and it will actually make it look very weird so the first pack that we're going to be taking a look at is called custom sky now this is one that actually looks pretty cool it's not that subtle because there's some other packs in here that are going to look way more subtle by the way if you're wondering what other pack i'm using i'm actually using the stay true texture pack so you actually have some custom textures with a cool looking sky so this pack like i said custom sky it's actually really cool it's just very realistic if i may say so just very realistic that's pretty much the point of this pack now there's other packs they're all going to look pretty realistic but this one is just not that subtle it's not just a clear blue sky it's definitely got some fluffy clouds that if you zoom into them using the optifine zoom in function you'll see that they're pretty pixelated but that's good because from a distance you won't even be able to see that if you do zoom in you will see it but if you're just going to be playing minecraft like this if you just imagine this is your normal minecraft survival world that is something you will not notice but it definitely actually enhances the survival experience now this is the second pack it's called better skies and this one actually does what it says it just makes the sky better so actually this is something that for me comes really close to what some low-end shaders actually feel like when you play with them. The sky is red, kind of orange-like, the sun is rising, and that is very realistic in my opinion. I really like the way this looks. It doesn't have clouds. Some of the others do have that. So if you like clear skies, of course the sky gets brighter as daytime progresses. But during sunrise and sunset, it is of course not very bright. But the greatest thing about these packs, and that is something I haven't even talked about up till this point, they do not take a performance hit you will not lose FPS when using one of these packs. It's just not the way it works. This is just a texture pack. Normally, if you apply a different 16 pixel texture pack, would you notice a huge performance impact? Probably not, probably not even a single FPS. So that's what these packs do. They just look good. They'll change the way Minecraft feels, but they won't actually make you give up FPS. So that's wonderful. Now this next one is called Fancy Skies and I will tell you this, um, this pack is probably one of the better ones that I will show you today. Not only because the sky looks just phenomenal, but also because it adds more than just a custom sky texture. I hope you're able to pick this up. Usually for my videos, I turn the Minecraft volume down a little, but for this pack, I actually wish, or I hope you're able to pick up the sounds especially when walking and stuff like that, because this pack also adds custom sounds for a lot of different things. So yeah, this pack adds sounds for pretty much every block you can walk on, and it adds a beautiful sky, as you can see. Beautiful sun, probably the best sun you'll get with any of these packs, because this one just looks very realistic, incredibly bright, almost as if it's shaded with a shader, but it's not, it's just a simple image. But the fact that you're not even able to tell it that well is definitely uh, something really good about this pack. Now this next one is just another option. It is called Dramatic Skies 
and it is a proof of concept pretty much because it's not finished it's supposed to become like a biome dependent texture pack as well if i remember properly where it just adapts to the color and the ambience of different biomes in minecraft which is really cool this pack just looks good just like all of the other packs pretty much it has clouds it has a really good looking sun right there very realistic and kind of dramatic looking clouds actually which is the point of this pack because it's called dramatic skies and now this last one is probably one of my favorites because it's so unique and so cool i really love the idea of a solar eclipse in minecraft and there usually isn't one in vanilla minecraft but with this pack you can emulate what it would feel like to have a solar eclipse in minecraft so it's really cool that's supposed to be the moon in front of the sun and because of that even though you saw with the other packs it's definitely that time of the day where the sun is rising so i just changed the time to be more like noon and as you can see it doesn't get any brighter out here it just feels like nighttime in minecraft and that's actually really weird because you know it's supposed to be noon the sun is supposed to be shining out here but no we got a solar eclipse so this is a really cool concept to be able to have a solar eclipse in minecraft really like the idea behind this pack so that's why i definitely wanted to include it in this compilation because i couldn't really figure another compilation where this would fit really well because it's not really a complete texture pack it just adds a new sky with a new sun and moon texture if you did enjoy this video then be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more of these kinds of videos and of course let me know down below in the comments which one of these is your favorite and if you're actually going to be using one of these let me know which one you are going to use and then without any further ado as always i will of course catch you in the next one See ya!